Hi, Jess. Hello from Nashville. Uh, I'm sure you're from America. Annyeonghaseyo, Aileen. How are you guys? Before I go play ping pong today, I've got about like 25 minutes. So I've decided to do live before I go. Brian, morning. Yes. So many people visited here in Pangyo, like from Cameroon, Nigeria, and uh, Uganda. Like a lot of people came here today and I had to give them like a, a guide. So it's pretty tiring, but you know, it is what it is. Bimal, 안녕하세요, 여러분. Mm. Your Korean is very nice. No mistake. <laughs> so the reason why I started uh, this live streaming was because, you know, I updated this video about be going to uh, like five days ago, maybe. And I also updated this video about like how to use will last time, right? So I wanted to talk about that. First of all, be going to this Korean is like uh, bottom L and 것이다 is the infinitive grammar. Like I have been saying a lot, like knowing this infinitive grammar and words are really important. Knowing those, you know, infinitive things you know, it changes everything. Wow. Four in the morning and you're still up. Bimal, thank you for watching. Mm. So anyhow, we wanted to know like how to use this be going to in informal way, like casual way. What's casual way? When you talk to someone that you're close to, right? or when you talk to your friends, you would not want to use this uh, to people that you have just met, the people that you don't really know, or some people that you should show your respects, right? So do not use this to them. Use this to your friends. All right. So basically, in Korean, we have this like, polite way saying or formal way informal way and more polite way like four different ways they're crazy right but you know once you get one person for practicing this polite way and the other person for formal way and the other person for casual way and the other person for this more polite way so you need to get like four different kind of people that you want to talk to all right and so basically we need to get rid of yo that's the basic and for this grammar be going to you need to memorize this l koya l Bottom letter, 거야. And 을, 거야. If you have watched my videos, uh, I remember that I said, instead of saying 거, in this grammar, you need to pronounce it stronger. So 거, right, 조세, 호세, sorry. That's right, 엘, 거야, and like this. Let me type this for you guys. 
And remember, there's always space after L. So, like this. <clears throat> the way that we conjugate this is the same as we studied before. So, no bottom letters use L, Koya. Bottom let lettered words use Il, Koya. Okay. What are you guys going to do today? Do you guys have any plans? You can say that in English or Korean. Please tell me what you're going to do. Today or tomorrow or this weekend. Maybe next weekend. Anyone? Eat ice cream. Okay, that's a good idea. So, this word eat, we need this, right? So, 먹다, we need this word. And 먹, there is a bottom letter. So, obviously, we need to add 을 거야. So, it's, it looks like 먹을 거야. And eat what? Ice cream, right? So, to your friends, Sorry, from your friend, you get a question. Hey, what are you going to do today? Uh, I'm going to eat ice cream. Ice cream, 먹을 거야. Like this. So it looks different, right? The way that we studied before, it was ice cream 먹을 거예요. But this one, ice cream 먹을 거야. That's different, right? So, freak soul, I remember you. So, if we attach L and U with verbs and nothing else for future, what does the sentence sound like in English? No, it is for the future. It is about the plan, future plans, right? What are you going to do? I'm going to eat. I'm going to study. I'm going to meet my friends, stuff like that. The whole, you know, future. Perfect. Alien, like I said, after L, you always have to make a space. So, 먹을 space 거야. It's not so important when you speak, right? However, uh, you know, when you type something, if you misspell it, not knowing, it makes you look dumb, right? So, you know, like I would just teach the in the right in proper proper way. Perfect, Anna. 내일 학교에서 공부할 거야. Right. I'm going to study at school tomorrow. Nice. Good job. So, tell me about um, what you're gonna do after you watch this video. So I can ask you guys. What are you going to do? 뭐를 하다, right? 하다. 하다 also has no bottom letter, so add 엘 거야. So this is the proper way, right? 무엇을 got shortened 뭐를. However, for speaking this 을 and 를, they are usually dropped. So 뭐할 거야? Okay. Nice. Jess. Nice one. 공부할 거야. I'm going to study. Okay. Now you have made a good sentence and you want to add up things. Like, oh, I'm going to study what? I'm going to study English. With who? I'm going to study English with my friend. Where? I'm going to study English with my friend at home. And what time? I'm going to study English with my friend at home at 5 o'clock, for example. Something like this adding up that's easy right all right alien shower and jess by the way 공부하다. this hada words there's no space remember after l there is space so it should be 공부할 space 거야. 
Mm. Jose, you're right. You're gonna sleep. I envy you. I'm jealous because I gotta work. Anna, 잠을 잘 거야. Perfect. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna sleep. Right. And here's one more tip. So this hada word, shower hada, 공부하다. If you want to make them divided, then you need to add this ul or lul. So this hada words can be used both ways. Just hada word and two words, shower hada, shower hada, like that. So it's up to you. You can choose. 점심 식사를 먹을 거야. Good. I'm gonna eat lunch. But casual, uh, sorry. Mm, more like common way to say I'm gonna have lunch. We just say 점심을 먹을 거야. Or you need to choose 식사를 할 거야. 식사하다. Have a meal. Jen Contado. 안녕하세요. Yeah, so now we can say, you know, what we're going to do later on. Mm. How about this weekend? What are you guys going to do? 주말에 뭐할 거야? Please answer my question. Freak soul, like I said before, you think too much. So, 입니다 is the way that we say I am something. I am someone. I am a teacher. That's that. And what we're doing right now here is how to say I'm going to do something. That's the difference. It's, it's obviously different saying I am someone. I'm going to teach. They're different, right? Perfect, Jose. 주말에 친구를 만날 거야. Nice. I'm going to meet a friend this weekend or on the weekend. Anyone except Jose? All right, Jose, you made a great sentence. Why don't you add up more? Like, using and, make longer sentences. Try to make longer sentences. So, I'm going to meet my friend and I'm going to drink coffee with him or her on the weekend. Can you try that? So, the point is that using and. Does anyone have any, uh, what is it, any idea what you're going to do this weekend? No entendi muy bien. Oh, really? So you want to say, I'm going to go, sorry, I'm going to meet my friend and drink coffee with him or her. So in this case, because these two actions, like I'm going to, Meet and doing what? And drink. They are connected actions, right? It's obvious that you do this and then later on you do that. So in this case, you want to use so or so so. So the answer should be. Like this. On the weekend, 
I'm going to meet and drink coffee with my friend. All right. Panama. Diogo is not what we're doing here right now. So please uh, ask me later on that. And we're trying to practice here casual way to say going to. So 교환할 거예요. I'm going to exchange. That is correct. But in casual way to talk to your friends, you want to say 교환할 거야. And pronounce stronger. 교환할 거야. So, Brian, 주말에 교회에 갈 거야. You go to church. You're not going in church. What's the Korean word for weekend? It's 주말. Weekend. All right, Anna, nice try. Um, but that should be. They're not connected. Like you drink, sorry, you read the book and then you're going to drink coffee. They're not connected. So they're divided. Reading a book, drinking coffee, they're different. So in that case, you need to use ko, like just normal way to say and. So, 주말에 책을 읽고 커피를 마실 거야. Like this. I'm going to read a book and drink coffee. Jose, that's right. I'm going to go to a coffee shop to meet my friend. Perfect. You used to just to meet my friend. That is a perfect sentence, but here's a spell mistake. 친구, 친구. Mm. Perfect. Yes, you're perfect. But all the particles like to, in, on, those things, there's no space. So, 한시에 집에서 친구와 한국어를 공부할 거야. Mm. This should be better. So, 집에서 they all got together. Perfect. Libanetsa Zambrana. <laughs> TV 보고 커피를 마실 거야. Perfect. But remember, after L, there must be a space. So, TV를 보고 커피를 마실 거야. Perfect. Every city. Mm. I can understand what you wrote, but that's wrong. Mm. So, you want to say, I have to work tomorrow, so I'm going to go to bed soon. That's what you're trying to say, but it should be, you know, that's because I have to work. You didn't, you missed this part. I have to work, so. So, I was saying, 내일. And remember, for like tomorrow, yesterday, you know, we don't have any particles there. Like, like English, I'm going to study tomorrow. You don't say, I'm going to study in tomorrow, right? So just say, 내일. And instead of saying 저 in this case you know 저 is like polite way right but when you want to say use this casual way you need to change this 저 to 나 right 
So if you are using polite way, this every word should be polite. If you're using casual way, this every word should be casual way. So think, think that like it's like a set. Okay, now I have three minutes left to, you know, go play ping pong. Please ask me any questions if you are, uh, if you couldn't really understand what I'm doing here. If you don't have questions, you know, you can keep making your sentences, you know, like I said, not just one sentence, but also like, you know, try to make up what you're going to do today. I'm going to do this and that, and then I'm going to do this and that. All right. Now you're out of ideas. Then what? Maybe you need to say about, you know, you need to to make a sentences about like what you're going to do tomorrow, what you're going to do next week, maybe next year, something like that. You should keep practicing until you don't have to think about the conjugation. That's the whole point. First, you need to know how to conjugate. And second, you need to forget how to conjugate. Even though you forget how to conjugate, you know the right sound. Then you don't have to think about the conjugation. What should I conjugate? This or that? No, nothing. So you can save more time. Saving more time means, you know, once you, you don't even think about like what to say. You just say what you want to say all right then mm, i think this is it and mm, if you guys have more questions you can leave a comment uh, under the video and i'll see you guys next time thank you